Hello everybody, my name is Ja Red, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. Now here's another game that again has received high accolades, and considering it's one of the best games that came out in 2017, up to this moment I have never played it. So for the most part I've only seen a few videos touching on it, I, very, I know very little about it as far as the story is concerned. I know you're part of a family, you're Edith Finch, and you're trying to figure out why you're the last one alive and there's a bunch of weird stories um it's a collection of weird stories apparently so yeah let's just uh dive right into the game and see what's gonna happen it's a first person game that's good we're sitting down oh i have flowers edith oh edith finch my journal perhaps i should sound like a lady let us open it Turn the Hello, page. This isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh. Good place to start, I suppose, since it's a really weird looking house. Oh. How lovely. What's this? My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. Oh. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Ooh. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. <laughs> what a rebel. Zoom in. Now, I, I want to say this, this game is um, what's considered a walking simulator. Um, I've played some games by that definition, and then you literally just walk around and not a whole lot happens. I have a feeling that there's more to this game than that, though, just because it has received such such high praise. Um, so unless the story is just absolutely amazing, um, there's probably a little bit more interaction than just walking around and looking at pretty stuff, which is fine. I have enjoyed doing that in some games, but uh, something tells me there's a little bit more to this than I that. I sure until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the room. Lame. A house like that, there's probably some very interesting things. It's pretty. Pretty pepper flowers. What is this? Orcus Island Gazette. Ah, I can open this. I'm going to steal your mail. Oh, eh, no, no, should I? Yes, should I? No, yep, oh, yep. Inside the mailbox okay. are bills from seven years ago. Cool. Urgent. Open immediately. <laughs> so much for that. <clears throat> I'm not interested in bills. In this game and in real life. I been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. No trespassing. Are we going to be a rebel again? Ha! Take that! Metal fence barrier! No trespassing. Watch me. Oh, how lovely. Nice trickling stream. In a will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what I Ooh. want. The key. The key to my she heart. I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm. <gasps> Two paths. Oh. I so want to go down there, but I have a feeling I should go up here. Let's just see. Hello? Ah, the crick. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Mm. I suppose either path probably leads to the house. Uh, I the woods the wood around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Mm. Anti-social woods. Wood barrel. There we 
Yeah. What a weird house. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. <laughs> Looks like something out of a dream or a nightmare. Speaking of nightmares... What? I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. Okay. Weird. <laughs> I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Interesting. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Well, look at it. It's not a normal house. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Why? It's just a house? What could possibly go wrong? Open up! Screw the front door. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna. Oh, the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. <laughs> of course, I would choose the path that you're supposed to go. Station wagon. O'Doyle's rule. And rods. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Oh, it doesn't seem so bad. It's got a nice rustic charm to it, actually. All these cookbooks. Wine. Look at all the wine. They're not even opened. Oh, yeah. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. In loving memory, Lewis Finch. Beloved brother, son of Don. Great guns unto Eid. Are we here? Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. Imperial so Palace. A lot. <laughs> Yeah, I can see how people wouldn't really want to come to uh, come up to this house. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. I'd totally be down, but I can see how people of less fortitude would be willing to do so. What have we here? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except mm. our cat, Molly. <laughs> Heaven for the cat. What is that noise? I have this urge to look like look at everything um, so that she'll talk and I can get more story. And I suppose, from, from what I understand, this game also takes place in the state of Washington, which you don't really see that often. And I think that's kind of cool because that's where I live. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Yeesh. One of those special kinds of bombs. Huh, that's kind of cool. Kind of pictures, I suppose. You, well, they they really need to. Grandma's. Oh, it's a lake. What? What's out there? Something's out there. A boat or something. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Yes, that can be a tough decision. Oh, 
Nothing in the house That's looked just... abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. There's mostly just lots of books, which I think is awesome. I would love to just have books all over the place. This is a really cool house, actually. I'm digging it. I'm not going to lie. Cool table. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, that was that was cool. Can I crouch? Nope. Pictures. Demon children, no doubt. Be a great view. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to go in the basement quite yet. <laughs> eh, we're going to save that. That's what the key is for. Let's check this out. Oh. Just turn this sucker. Oh. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Little Red Riding Hood and Bigfoot. Oh. Papa Finch was in the movie business, it would seem. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Hmm. Who's to say he isn't? I guess we couldn't have gotten in the front door. It's piers locked. A lot of things okay. got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Whoa. The heck? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Weird. They got it all sealed up at locked up wow I want to ride can I ride let me ride that's a lot of pictures holy crap after Milton disappeared mom sealed up all the bedrooms mm -hmm. then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes <laughs> Strange. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Mm. This room's probably haunted. Weird. They're like bedroom slash uh, like like um tombstone type thing like he got molly 1937 to 1947 but instead of like a tombstone in a cemetery you've got a bedroom door and a peephole into what it was like that is interesting this door is open why is this my room i spent a lot of time playing in great uncle walter's room i think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up it's really cool, though. Why is there so much light here? There's no source. I guess it's just coming in from the window. I don't know. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Does my key work for this? Oh, it's a master key. Turns out... My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh. Have we here? Oh, that's so cool. This would be such a cool little hangout for a kid. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. 
<laughs> Milton was here. Oh, my hands. It's like I'm crawling. <laughs> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, is this, uh... Is this Molly's room? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Oh. Nope, not Molly's. Well, maybe Molly's secret room, like her little personal secret room or whatever. It doesn't look like the room we saw to the people. Well, I grew up looking at Molly's room. Maybe it was just like distorted through the to the people. Mount Rainier National Park. Let's just rifle through this kid's Molly's stuff. Had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. What? I, 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 why? The, the, this cage isn't small enough. You need to make a smaller one. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Hmm. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Yeah, no doubt. Molly Finch must be her diary. Should we be reading this? December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something. We're playing the memory. Oh, that's so cool. Got any candy in my pumpkin? My Halloween candy was all gone. No! Help me, Orca. Find my lost candy. Um... The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. <laughs> what? That's disgusting. A, nothing else to eat but gerbil food? Hello, little fish. Oh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I <laughs> held back. That's good. Poor Christopher. Hang in there, buddy. I ain't gonna eat you, not today. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm guessing we probably can't go out this door. It's probably locked. Mom, can I come out now? She's Maybe locked not. in here? It's late. Go to sleep. And they lock their kids in their bedroom so they go to sleep? Well, guess what? This door is open. Oh, it's the bathroom. I kept eating and eating. What? It's toothpaste. No, you can't. are you that hungry? Ugh. And what's it's so gross? Poor kid. I ate a lot of things that night. What the heck, kid? Are those even real? What in the no? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hello, birdie. There was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... Whoa? I was a cat. Meow? What? Oh, that's so cool. It's like a kid's dream or fantasy. Ha! Ha ha! Blink. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Don't be scared, this is a bird. I will not eat you. Where'd she go?
Why is there a weight up or it's a, it's a frisbee? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. They look <laughs> they're not even they're not moving like they're not real. Maybe that's the memory of a child? Weird. Nimble I am. I like these lights. Hey bird. I'm your friend. I shall not eat you. Oh. I jumped and I almost got her. Maybe I am trying to eat the bird. She is pretty darn hungry apparently. I could tell she was getting really tired. Where'd you go? I'll get you, yeah, don't you I was worry. Up in the big tree. I promised that I wouldn't climb it anymore. But you're All a cat. I about was eating that bird. Oh, it's just messed I up, kids. Oh my God. Oh. Suddenly, I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard uh. little teeth nibbling in the grass. Well, that's cool. Rabbits. Oh, poor rabbit, no! But I gotta eat, so... Oh. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Why not? It's part of eating. Find something, bigger. something wrong with this kid. Who doesn't dream about flying though? I'm a rabbit. Got a something about eating the mamas. Is that bigger? It looks the same. She was almost too big to carry. Oh. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. What the hell? And suddenly, I was a shark. You can't be a shark in a tree. It doesn't work. What the hell? Um. <laughs> what the hell? Suddenly, this became the shark version of Goat Simulator. I oh! The cliff and into the ocean. <laughs> now, Imagine their surprise. I'm gonna get you. What is this? What am I chasing, anyways? I can't tell. It's a seal? Looks like a seal. Makes sense. I wanted fat, juicy seal. Mm-mm-mm. You gonna get them. Um... Oh, no. <sighs> Why? This is so weird. <laughs> ah. I'll get you. Oh. I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. Ah. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What am I now? What? What the f... What in the hell? I'm a tentacle? What the hell? This game is so weird, but I like it. It's super cool. Ah! 
Oh. I was big, but I moved real quiet. <laughs> I guess we ate him. <laughs> I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Time for the captain. Well, down with the ship. After the last passenger, that wasn't a passenger. That was the captain or the navigator. Oh. Ooh. This kid is just greedy. What could it be? It can't possibly be true. <laughs> I wonder what the rest of this monster looks like. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, that's so wrong. <laughs> what the hell? I got closer and closer. Going after yourself, kid. Don't do it. Whoa. Something under the bed? All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. Kid, what an imagination! Wow, that'd be really kind of a cool thing to find, honestly. What are we doing? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, oh. but I'm sure Edie would have. <laughs> kitty cat? It's a kitty cat. Come back, kitty cat. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Hmm. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Okay. Like mom and dad's room from the vision. I spent a lot of time in great grandma Edie's room. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? We got pictures and candles for each of your. Are they like shrines to your dead pets? That's weird. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. How kind. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Mm. The room was like a museum. What's this? Odin. Oh, so it's one of those. For 500 years, the Finches <laughs> have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries uh. the latest victims of the family curse. 
his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Odin and Johan? On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house. Wow. Hoping to leave the curse behind. Well, that makes sense why the house sank then, because they turned it into a boat. Not a good the idea. The 40-foot waves off the coast <laughs> of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that sucks. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, lucky him. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Huh. Interesting. Interesting Whatever's way to Sven, immortalize someone. It goes back a long ways. Interesting. There's other things. Can I watch those? Oh, what are the dwarves? That must be Odin. Interesting, very interesting. Sven Edie. The mole man beneath the Finch house. Edie gave what? a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> Edie sounds like fun. Mom does not sound like fun. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. <laughs> One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> Built in 1937, Sven Finch. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. <laughs> she could have, but she didn't. No. <laughs> the dragon slide. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Mom seemed like a stick in the mud. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is some carpet right there. Pink shag. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> That's a lot of pink. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> I'll say. Oh, another, another memory. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Eddie Finch. These books that lead to like memories or other worlds kind of reminds me of the, um, those old puzzle games of Myst where you'd open, they'd have the books and they would lead to other worlds. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. <laughs> it isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> what have we here? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. So it's a little film developing creepy studio these are always creepy even though i really admire the old the old art of photography but i think hollywood and and things like that have just every time i see them i think is probably the den of a serial killer or some creepy person and that's a shame because it's kind of cool the, the old photography milton Move a chair. Oh, the chairs are always in my way. Hello? Oh. Captured. Enlist. Uh. 
Oh, that's cool. Is that like a shield? Oh. Uh -huh. Interesting. Two command center. <laughs> I want to go to the command center. I want to go up there. Ah. Uh -huh. I knew Grandpa oh. Sam had a twin. <laughs> we get to go to the command center. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Cool. Oh, this would be so cool. If I had this as a kid, that would be so freaking cool. <laughs> How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. Ooh, that that, that would be such a cool spot for. He'd never be afraid again. For a swing. I mean, look at that view. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! You're not ready! Calvin! No! I don't want to. But I want to fly. He finally made up his mind to do it. Um. I told him going around was impossible. We're going to try to go all the way around? Oh, jeez. Like, every kid probably that. tried to do this. Uh, Alvin, almost there! <laughs> Let's do it! Yes! Oh, almost. One more go. Here we go. Oh, boy. Going around. Oh, gosh. Come on. So close. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Yes. Oh, we did it. We are the best. <laughs> made up his mind to fly. And he did. What? I feel like that has some really sad tones to that. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Did we skip Barbara? Crap, I think we skipped Barbara. We need to go find Barbara. Huh. Wow. That's kind of cool. Good for you, Calvin. Fly away. As long as you didn't fly off the cliff in real life and At just funeral, fall. <laughs> rubbed off Calvin's half of the room. That's exactly what happened. I knew it. Yeah, he flew. And he fell. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Hmm. Tragic. Another secret door. Wow. Okay. Lots of secret doors in this house. That's really cool. I l Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> I want a house like this someday. Definitely. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Oh, leads back out to the main. I guess it's like a shortcut back if we need it. <laughs> Barbara up, Finch. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Found Barbara. <laughs> Guitar. Swan Lake. Wow. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Hmm. Happy birthday, Barbara. Hmm. 
I'm just going to assume this house is just old and creaky and there's not something sneaking around. <laughs> Those are creepy. Alright, looks like... Barbara, 1944 to 1960. Dreadful stories. Guest starring All the Barbara Finch. Wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh. Oh, Jack here with another huh. ghastly tale inspired uh -huh. by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it. The surprise ending of Barbara Finch. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. As a child, huh. Barbara was famous for her scream. Really? Now eh, it's, 16, it's annoying. She was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. Beasticon. Doesn't sound good. Unfortunately, the scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better, eh, but still I sucks. Just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. Nice. Now That's that what we're looking for. Oh. It was Barbara's father, Sven. <laughs> He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Ouch. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Oh. <gasps> Damn you, Walter. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. Oh my we tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Oh. Also, I loved your delivery on that. It's Why this is your guy. door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding ah. until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Good to know. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Oh. Right on cue. Dun, dun, dun. She reached for the music box. Ah. We're in the comic. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. <laughs> Oh, how cool. <gasps> I'm in the comic. That's so cool. Oh, the music is so Halloween, I think. <gasps> is it a weapon? It's a weapon. Damn you. Seminal! I hate detergent! Uh oh. Out of my way, 2 by 4s The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Huh. Oh dear. That's just creepy. And that must be the saw where he cut his hand. And that's also creepy. This guy makes some creepy shit. Hiya! Got a train! Got a train! You little shit. <laughs> oh. Rick? You dipshit. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. <laughs> this guy. I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you <laughs> She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him. 
crutch. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. The late, late picture and show? Later, Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Oh dear. Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. You're dead, you hear me? I still got the crutch. You never know. 12 o'clock! Oh my god! Whoa, egg chair. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. I want to go in there. Skellington. Hello. Hey! Not throwing shit at me! Who's there? Walter? Walter, are you there? Hello? Walter had vanished. Oh. But his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Um, suspicious activity. Suspicious activity. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Eat that. Locked. Leave me alone. Hey, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Through the thing here. Crawl through. <laughs> that is. She played her part beautifully. Oh, boy. Molly. Are you being a tentacle monster again? Good, because there's a killer in the house. He is not trying very hard for a killer. Eat that! Oh! What now? But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Oh! Let's go finish the job. My first kill! You should go faster. He's not going to be there. I knew it. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Oh my god! He breathes like a ding-dong! Doorbell! At the door, she heard whisper. From inside the house. Oh, the skeleton. Um. The hell? Oh dear. <laughs> what about the poor hook guy? She realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. What? And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. She had a taste for stardom. <laughs> but unfortunately, so did her fans. This guy looks like a raincore. It all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. Oh. And little Walter? Where was he? Under his bed what a little shit. Time. He took it all pretty hard. 
I should say so. Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Okay. Was the killer Van Gogh? <laughs> Okay. Strange. He told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. That doesn't seem like a very happy ending. All right, guys. I think that's a good spot to stop this episode. Really enjoying the game so far. S disappointed that I hadn't picked this soon up sooner. It's a lot of fun. Really liking the. The books, the locked books with the different memories inside them to kind of explore the different members of this family and what happened to them. It's a really cool idea. Um, if you guys are enjoying it as well, hit that like button. Uh, tell me about it on Facebook or Twitter. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you haven't already, share this video and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. We're gonna play more of this game. I wanna, I wanna dive deeper into it. I wanna, I wanna get to the point, to the end and uh, experience this story because it's really, really interesting so far. So on that note, you've all been awesome. I'll see you in the next video.